the Wii U was announced at this year's E3. And yes, we're psyched, but the upcoming system is already showing its limitations. Nintendo says, quote, Wii U does not have DVD or Blu-ray playback capabilities. It didn't warrant the cost involved to build that technology into the Wii U console because of the patents related to those technologies. Bummer. Heads up, Skype is coming to the Xbox 360 any day now. Plus, word is Microsoft will announce a new Xbox at next year's E3. We'll keep you posted. Hail to the king, baby. Time to kick it and chew gum. And we're all out of gum. In 1996, Duke Nukem 3D rocked our world. I'm back, baby. And now, after 15 years of waiting, the king is back. This week's review, Duke Nukem Forever for the 360, PS3, and PC. What about the game, Duke? Was it any good? <laughs> yeah, but after 12 years, it should be. The aliens have returned, and they've kidnapped the babes. Not my babes, not in my town. You've got turret shootouts, monster trucks, and absolutely ginormous freaking bosses. One ugly mother Say hello to your boomstick and pump humanoid pigs full of lead. Even pulverize your enemies with shrink rays, then stomp on them with your boot. Plus, get shrunk yourself and race miniaturized RC cars and jump across hamburger buns. Be careful, Duke! Interact with anything and everything. Pool tables, air hockey, pinball. I've got balls of fail. The more you interact with your environment, the bigger your health meter gets. And yes, you can even fling poop grabbed from a nearby toilet. This is disgusting. Icky, chuckle-worthy, and totally shallow, Duke Nukem Forever is an unabashed throwback to 90s-style gaming, which, yeah, is part of its charm and its major problem. There's no strategy. Just shoot everything that moves. Sure, there are some physics-based puzzles, like using a giant crane to smash a building, or move these barrels to shift the weight of platforms. But they're lame ripoffs of Half-Life 2. Plus, graphics range from okay to downright awful, and the loading screens take forever. Die once and you'll wait for over a minute before you can play again. Worst of all, you've got eight-player online frag fests, including Deathmatch, King of the Hill, and Capture the Babe. Ooh, I like different colors. Unlock rewards for your penthouse along the way, including paintings, statues, and new costumes. But that's it. And this is hands down the laggiest, buggiest online game we've ever played. Damage. Look at this dude. He's running, but he's going nowhere. What the frack? Mr. Nukem, will you sign this for me? Sure, kid. You might grow up to be as awesome as me. Sure, Duke Nukem Forever is fun in a nostalgic kind of way. Heck, we've been waiting for this game since middle school. Back in 96, Duke was a parody of the macho, misogynist heroes of his day. But today, gaming has grown up, and Duke is stuck in the Dark Ages. The only thing he's parodying is himself. The Gamer's Weekly Verdict? Forget it. Right in the jewels. Hey, check out a new Gamers Weekly every week at foxnews.com slash gamersweekly and on iTunes. We'll see you there.